This is Bishop John Durfler of the Diocese of Marquette. Dear brothers and sisters in Christ, when I was young and learning to play the guitar, I really wanted an electric guitar. I started out with the steel string acoustic, and eventually I did get an electric guitar and I certainly enjoyed playing it. But was I happier with the electric guitar than without it? No, not really. So if happiness doesn't consist in electric guitars, well, what does it consist in? Eating dark chocolate? Close, but not quite. When we talk about morality, I'm afraid that many people get the impression that morality is really just about a bunch of rules that tell me what I may not do. Well, after all, we usually begin learning about morality by learning the Ten Commandments. The commandments do have an important part to play, but if we focus on just the commandments, we might lose the broader picture in which the commandments really make sense. A fundamental question in the Christian moral life is not what the rules are, but what will make us truly happy. Yes, Christian morality is about happiness. Everyone wants to be happy. When we choose to do something, don't we do it because somehow we think it will make us happy? But this presupposes another question. What is happiness? St. Thomas Aquinas begins his treatment of the Christian moral life by asking the question about happiness. And he examines several things that people pursue thinking that they will make them happy, such as money, honor, power, pleasure, and other related things. Don't we tend to pursue the same things today thinking that they will make us happy? Without going into the details of what St. Thomas says, he concludes that none of these things will really make us happy. And I think we can see his point readily enough. Stock prices collapse. Clothes wear out. Feelings and experiences of pleasure come and go. We may climb to the top of the corporate ladder only to lose our job when the business goes bankrupt. None of these things really last. As it says in the Bible and the book of Ecclesiastes, all things are vanity. There is only one thing that does not pass away and can give us lasting happiness. God. Our happiness consists in knowing and loving God. Similarly, the Catechism of the Catholic Church begins with our desire for God and St. Augustine says, You have made us for yourself, O Lord, and our heart is restless until it rests in you. Now we can see the big picture. If we really want to be happy, we should pursue knowing and loving God. The commandments begin to make sense in this context because the commandments show us and teach us what it means to love God and to love our neighbor in our concrete actions. They show us what we need to do in order to be truly happy and enjoy the love of God and strengthen and deepen our friendship with Jesus. This is Bishop John Durfler of the Diocese of Marquette.